All right, we're going to adjust the balancer chain tensioner, also known as the doohickey. This is maintenance you want to do about every oil change. Um, the whole process won't take you longer than 10 minutes. First thing you want to do is you want to remove the three bolts that are holding your skid plate on. If you've got the factory plastic skid plate, uh, like I have here, um, there's going to be the one in the front and the two underneath. And uh, the whole process of doing this adjustment should take you under 10 minutes. So I'll okay. remove that plate. Now we've got the skid plate off. If we look right at the bottom here, right there is a rubber, right there's a rubber stopper. Use a flat blade screwdriver. We're going to pry this off. Hard to do when you're holding a camera as well. But uh, there. So this is torqued to 78, this bolt. It's an 8mm M5, I believe. It is torqued, according to the manual, to 78 inch pounds of torque. You're going to put your ratchet in, it's an 8mm, turn it, half a turn. You can actually turn it up to two full turns before you run a risk of that bolt coming out. But if you take that bolt out, you need to disassemble the entire side of the motor here. You need to take your bottom end out so that you can put that back in. So whatever you do, don't loosen it any more than that. At this point in time, the balance, uh, the balancer doohickey should have aligned itself back where it needs to be. For the adjustment, what you can do is you can tap your case with a rubber mallet like this. And that'll send some vibration through the case. And then if for whatever reason it's sticking, this will help it uh, find its center again. Okay, so now we're going to snug it back up. Okay, I'm going to go grab a torque wrench. Alright, the one piece of advice I want to give you here is if you don't have a quarter inch drive torque wrench, then use a quarter inch drive ratchet and tighten it just kind of snug. Uh, don't use a 3 8 inch or heaven forbid a half inch drive torque wrench. Torque wrenches aren't that accurate and you do not want to over tighten this. So invest in a quarter inch drive um, torque wrench. You can buy yourself a, a non-name brand one if you want, um, but uh, you uh, definitely don't do this torquing with a uh, don't do this torque job with a half inch drive. Now, tighten it down. What do you know? And we're already there. Perfect. Put your stopper back in. Just like that. And put your skid plate back on. Like I said, under a 10 minute job. Super simple to do.